Welcome to Dr. A's Weekly Healthy Fast and Health Tip. Hey folks, this week's health tip is on brain food. What activities and dietary food substances can you take to make your brain work better? Or even more, if you've had a stroke and you've had an injury, what foods and activities can you do to aid the healing? That's what we do for you. We keep you up with the latest on the Healthy Bastards Health Tip. Now the brain in here is only two or three percent of your body weight, but it uses up to 20% of total body energy. So what's the latest? What are the scientists, the healthy bastards, telling us with the latest information about keeping that brain going? Well, I remember it with the mnemonic Speedo. Sunlight, that's the first thing to remember. The latest research has shown that bright sunlight, uh, particularly in a sort of a blue light environment, is really good for keeping your brain active stimulated. P for pre-sleep or meditation. Latest research is, is that meditation is really good to get your brain ready for a big event. So say for example you've got an exam, meditate uh, for five or ten minutes pre-exam and that will boom up your performance. This is good stuff. Latest research also is that exercise, bum, ba -dum, 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 regular aerobic exercise is good for your scone. Even if you're old, work to get that heart rate up. The increased blood flow seems to get the brain sort of just moving, baby, moving. Then, of course, there's education. If you've got secondary school education and above, you have what's called brain reserve, cognitive reserve. So what that means is, is that if you have an insult to it, like your brain, like a stroke or even a little brain tumor, if you've got a good reserve of, of sort of knowledge in your head, then you do better. So the key thing is, is go to school and stop giving the teachers a bloody hard time. There's been a lot of debate about diet and brain function. My understanding is the fish oils, like the fatty acids, omega-3 fatty acids, don't really have good clear-cut evidence that makes a difference in your head. But what does is some of the plant flavonoids that are seen in fruits like blueberries. Um, so you get into those berries and somehow or other those chemicals are really good for your head. So that's the latest in diet. O for music. Now that doesn't match, but I just think O oh, music. Like you can't have the perfect mnemonic, can you? But in the old days, they thought that listening to music was good for your brain. But in actual fact, what is really good for it, uh, much, much better than that, is learning a musical instrument, whether it's a trumpet or the guitar. Now it's no good doing air guitar, all right? It's got to be actually learning music and then tying it in with the instrument, whether it's a piano or uh, the guitar. So if you learn a musical instrument, uh, even if you're a bit mediocre, that's shown to be really good for your brain. So that's the latest on brain food. I pride myself here as the world president of the International Healthy Bastards Club to keep you up with the latest. And this is the latest on brain food. Think about it. See you next week, fellas.